Hey guys, it's me Abby and today I will be showing you all three ways to escape from Kapow Camp in The Escapist 2. First way to escape is called Perimeter Breakout. In this you will need 60 intellect and then you will need to find four files, three pieces of duct tape, two pillows, and a bed sheet. The pillows and bed sheets can be taken from beds and the duct tape and files can be taken from chests. And you will need to craft a bed dummy with two pillows in a bed sheet and you will need to craft sturdy cutters by first crafting flimsy cutters with a duct tape and two files then you will need to add duct tape in a file to the flimsy cutters to craft lightweight cutters and finally you will have to do the same thing to the lightweight cutters to get the sturdy cutters once you have all of this Make sure to place the bed dummy in the bed and then you need to wait until roll call and then you have to do this very next thing very fast. Head to the right side of the prison, past the entrance door, but don't go to the metal detector. Go up all the way until you've reached the top of the building and then go right until you see a purple door. Then go through that purple door. Then go all the way down to the bottom of the building and then go down a hallway to the left and find the generator. Then turn off the generator and go back the way you came. Make sure to do this fast because once roll call is over the purple doors will lock. Once you've done this go up to the north until you've hit a fence with a red door. Then use the cutters to cut through all three fences and escape. The second way to escape is called Speed McQueen. Also remember this way to escape is single player only. In this you will need 40 intellect. Then you will need to get 3 buckets of paint, a screwdriver, a soda, and sugar mint. All of these items can be found in desks. Once you have all this use the soda and the sugar mint to make a makeshift thruster and use the paint cans to make a makeshift ladder. Then go to the southwest where you will find a shed and place the makeshift ladder under the area with a vent. Then use the screwdriver to get up into the vent and then walk through the passageway until you get to the other vent. Then drop down from the vent into the room with the motorcycle, put the fake thruster on it, and escape. The last way to escape is called Glide to Victory. In this you will need 60 intellect and you will have to craft a lot of items. Please remember that this is multiplayer only and you can't do this by yourself. You will need to craft two sturdy pickaxes which can be crafted by first making a tool handle with a file and timber and then combining it with a crowbar and duct tape to craft a flimsy pickaxe. Remember that crowbars cannot be found in desks on this map, or if they can, it is extremely hard to find them, and you will need to buy them from inmates. After you've crafted a flimsy pickaxe, you will need to combine it with a timber and a duct tape to make a lightweight pickaxe. Then you will need to do this one more time to craft a sturdy pickaxe. Then you will need to repeat this whole process once more. After you have two sturdy pickaxes, you will need to craft two of the half frames for the gliders. For each one you will need two dowels and duct tape. Make sure you've crafted both. The next thing you will need is a glider skin which can be crafted with two bed sheets and rope. The last thing you will need is a fake cyan keycard. First you will need to craft the cyan keycard mold component which can be crafted with a circuit board, a wire, and a cyan keycard. My suggestion is that you put duct tape over a camera in your room and then you lead the guard into your room, beat him up, and then quickly craft the component and put it in your desk. If you are fast enough, 
you can return the cyan key card to the guard and a lockdown won't start. Then you will need to craft molten plastic with a lighter and either a comb or a toothbrush and then you will be able to craft the fake cyan key card. Remember you can buy a lot of these resources including the crowbars from inmates. You can get money from either doing a job or doing quests for other inmates. Once you've crafted the cyan key card you will need to go to the first floor where the library is and then go up the stairs. Then there will be a blue button. You will need to push that and then your friend will need to go through the door. After that, they will push the button and you will be able to enter as well. Then go up the stairs and go around to the right until you see a wooden platform. Then place both of the half frames and place the glider skin. After this, you will need to use the sturdy pickaxes to break through the walls on the right, which should already be partly broken. Once you've done all of this, go back to the glider and escape.